Nold is a very interesting artist. He centers or focuses on religious imagery, but with much more visceral and forceful compositions. There's a certain primitivism to Nold's work, and that's because he's an untrained artist. Now, many of the German Expressionist artists are untrained, but with Nold, it really comes to the fore, and it gives it this certain primitive energy, primitive essence. The problem is the religious imagery, and you'll understand where that problem stems from in a second. Because the piece we're looking at is St. Mary of Egypt. Now, St. Mary of Egypt is a more formal way of saying Mary Magdalene, and, primary, and specifically Mary Magdalene before her conversion. Here we see harsh color and raw brushstrokes, which emphasize the leering faces of the men. This is to disgust the viewer. And it expresses certain social injustices. Now, in more typical times, we would see an image like this for Mary Magdalene. The red depicting who she is. Red is the color of Mary Magdalene. And here we see her having given up her quote-unquote evil ways and found God. But in Nold, we see something very different. The artist is drawing power from contrast in primitive nature, and he's using it to express his feelings about social injustice. In this case, in 1912, the injustice of women being seen for their bodies and not for their minds. Uh, a lot of these ideas are coming up. We're just after first wave feminism, and the suffrage movement is still underway in a lot of places, uh, so it's still ongoing. And he's looking at some of those ideas. And we see divor diverse uh, sources, excuse me, of inspiration, which reflect a new diversity emerging in Europe due to immigration from other places. So let's look at the piece. When we look at St. Mary of Egypt, the first thing that captures your attention is Mary looks like someone who's putting on a bit of a false face. This is not a pure happy smile. This is the smile of someone who's on stage who doesn't really want to be. He's setting up Mary as someone who's maybe a victim of her circumstance, not someone who wants to be there. She's topless, and in the early 20th century, that's not a symbol of motherhood so much as it is a symbol of immorality or sexuality. She's wearing pink. She hasn't quite gotten to the point of accepting uh, God and her role or what will be her role within the church, so she's wearing pink rather than wearing red. The men on the other side are supposed to make us uncomfortable. This is cringeworthy right here, and that's intentional from Nold because we, while we look at it and we might identify as one of the men wanting to leer at Mary, in fact, when you look at the men, you are so disgusted by them that you suddenly go, wow, that's a horrible idea. Why, why do I even want to do that? And so he's distorted the forms. He makes them look awkward and unusual. We have unusual faces, the mouths that are a little too wide open, the teeth that are disturbing, the giant hands that seem to be grasping forward as if to grope Mary's body itself. In the background, he's using blue and brown because these are going to be colors that create a sense of, uh, well, sort of juxtaposition with the colors used in the faces. It makes us uncomfortable. This is the same as that odd red and green used in Van Gogh's Night Cafe. By using contrasting colors, it makes the flesh tones awkward and unusual in the way that he does it. The primitive brushwork, again, gives us this sense of something that's uncomfortable, that we shouldn't be viewing. And this is very different brushwork than he uses for other pieces, such as his Pentecost or his Last Supper. This is much rawer. He's not trying to capture any sense of detail. So overall, we're supposed to find a sense of cringe in this, and we're supposed to hope that Mary finds a way out of these circumstances. And that's exactly what she'll do, because she's Mary Magdalene. It's just an unusual form. 
And this will make Noel a fairly unpopular artist at the time. The reason is, no one wants to look at their religious figures before the conversion. We don't want to think about Matthew when he's a tax collector. We don't want to think about Mary Magdalene before she becomes the Mary Magdalene we know following Jesus. And so this makes him very unpopular at the time. He's bringing up these uncomfortable ideas, but at the same time, he's expressing his belief in reconciliation and in the ability of society to turn it around and find peace in some way, shape, or form. 